Three, two, one, and we're live once again, HeroQuest fans. We are back in the eye of the storm. So things have gotten a little bit more calm where we are, and I think Strange Bus may be joining us again if he's able. So I was looking at the uh, Alchemist shop here, and I was realizing that even if I gave you a small donation, you're still going to be in trouble as far as not being able to buy any potions yet, because they are somewhat expensive these days. Um, I was going to let you keep the t 125 gold that I found earlier, but I guess we're going to have to use it for the funeral expenses for that uh, other barbarian, that ill-fated barbarian. So, uh, but these PSK. are things you can get. Oh, hey, we got somebody in here. Hello. What up, hype master in the house? You need to get hype, bro. You can't talk like that. You got to be hype. We here. You gonna pay for a funeral? You got to pay for the funeral. Yep. yep. I live. In All right. Stop well, me. let me go get the priest for you. Hold on. All right. <laughs> See, I was gonna get out the Viking long ship, but you know, uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, so I guess the other guy was going to go to bed. But, uh, yeah, so uh, can you please tell me who, who I'm speaking with uh, at this time? Again. This PSK. Excellent. Well, I met you the other day, and uh, thank you so much for being so cool. And thanks for joining us. So it sounds like you're a hardworking no man. Problem. Yeah, I uh, just got done with my second job. Get ready to go in the house and cook some dinner. Um, oh, well, thanks for stopping by. But I, I, yeah, that's exactly what I was coming to do. I don't like I don't like missing invites to come and check out the other streamers and support the community. So I appreciate you coming in. You Heck have a yeah. Night? yeah. Heck yeah. So you're uh, you're doing that uh, painting for charity thing. Uh, you paint miniatures. So I think you had the, the 3D printed stuff that was look pretty cool. I didn't get to see how it turned out, but. Uh, Oh, that 3D awesome. print one that I'm working on. Um, it's like a big archway or some staircases or something. Oh, yeah, that's a commission piece for the guy. He wants that on his, uh, on his cake. Oh, cool. So, uh, getting married and having a, like a fancy groom's cake. Yeah, that's what he wants. So that's my very first like paid commission. Ah, congratulations. So appreciate that, but I don't... I don't paint Warhammer too often. That's why I was practicing on that mm. that motorcycle saw me finishing. So that's gonna be the goal to just try and give him something nice for his wedding that he will like and then um Man. But yeah, definitely. Uh so you actually play Hero Forge um and stream it. I've never got to play the game. Like I remember uh, it was Hero yeah. Hero Quest. I'm just gonna correct you. Now, hero Quest. He yeah, you know what I mean. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hero Forge lets you uh, print. Uh, you you design your own mini, and then they they send you the print, um, which I've done before. But man, I got ripped off. I, I mean, I guess I should have known what I was getting into. I paid forty four dollars for one of those color printed minis, Ooh. and it was not worth it. It was like I should have just painted it myself. So one self too if you need to get it printed and you design one that you think is awesome mm -hmm. reach out to my boy mungo, mungo uh miniature okay if you he will if you join the discord he has his own channel um oh, cool. page so you can just click on him and reach out to him he has a uh, etsy shop to where he will print them for you yep i've and done a lot with etsy but yeah uh, the, the 3D printing stuff is still pretty new. Well, thanks for the recommendation. Now, my brother-in-law actually has a 3D printer. Now, he's just getting start with, started with it, too. It's not resin or anything fancy, but if I just need some cheap minis, he'll do it for me. But I'll definitely have to look up this uh, this other guy. So thank yeah, you. Mungo mentioning. prints 99% uh, of all my stuff, and then he also prints stuff Mungo. for the charity. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, and so, would... yeah. Tell me about what you do. Yeah, I will. So first, let me uh, shout out to you. So P underscore S underscore K underscore studio, right? Did I get it right? Yep. On, you still on, on, I don't on still Twitch. on Twitch. Oh, dude. Yeah. So we're having this storm where we are. And so it's kind of messing with my connection. 
But yeah, we uh, we play Hero Quest, and actually tonight is let's see. There's only been two other times I've actually played a live game, and uh, yeah, I actually play the board game on the camera because unlike the strange bus who I just had on here earlier, um, he has gotten tabletop simulator to work. I have not gotten it to work. I've tried everything I possibly can think of since Windows 10 was updated and just just doesn't work. So I just got these webcams. I just point them right at the board and I just play the game. So are you saying you haven't okay. played this game before? I never got to play it before. No. Okay. Um, and it sounds like you don't that, really have time tonight, probably. <laughs> no. So I, not tonight, but uh, maybe on another Saturday night for sure. When I get off of work, I definitely awesome. wouldn't mind jumping, learning about it. Um, yeah, because you, you, you got some kiddos running around, too, that you got to wrangle up. Right. Uh, yeah, night. Uh, but I do have a uh, another um, army buddy on his way over. We're gonna cook some chicken, oh. and we're gonna and BS. And I'll probably actually have you playing in Twitch on the background. Okay. So, I'll try to make it entertaining. Uh, this. So I'm I'm playing the Frozen Horror, which is the one that the remake expansion that's coming out later this year. They've been pretty tight lipped about it. It is whipping my butt. It is so. Uh, I mean, the odds are just stacked so hard against you. And yes, I know the great thing I like about Hero Quest is that it's so easy to just modify stuff. I mean, I like to play right. as Zargon, the GM, but it's fun to play as the heroes too and, you know, have surprises. You move through the dungeon, you roll your dice, you flip your cards. It's really simple. It's a pretty chill game. But yeah, they just yeah. they pulled out all the stops because that's how it was when we were kids. Like we would play the quest and it's like, yeah, you know, that's kind of boring. Let's make our own. And so that first adventure right. you would make, like your friends would just plow through all your monsters, destroy them, dodge all the traps. They get all the treasure and like, eh, eh, eh. yeah, it was, it was pretty easy. And you're like, what? <laughs> what happened? So you do it again, but this time you would throw everything but the kitchen sink and the kitchen sink at them. And you would kill everybody and you're like, ha, 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 ha. And then they don't want to play anymore. <laughs> so, so that's how it would go. So it's like this was this was their... Um, their turn at being the that uh, vindictive little kid that uh, just didn't want anybody <laughs> to win. So I'm, right. I'm trying to think of ways to like you know keep retain pretty much the core gameplay, but still make it just a little bit more fair. Oh, that's good. I think you got a. I think you got a great concept there. Um, yeah, because I'm sure. One... You... Sorry, go ahead. I'm going to link you in. I'm going to send you some uh, group invites because there's a big group of Dungeons and Dragons players that, you know, if you're playing game, they might all pop in and, and uh, play with you. Hey, to give you I would love that. So, um, and you never I know. know. Gonna... They're usually pretty open minded folks. Uh, sometimes, you know, the Dungeons and Dragons people are like, you know, this hero quest is it's too simple. Uh, I'd rather it be more complicated but you never know yeah these guys first off they're crazy like me secondly they talk trash <laughs> all the time to me um but i love them to death like they're like it's to the point like when i retire from the military i want to go live where they live oh wow nice so you're you're in the army also i am ah well thank you for your service i wouldn't have it any other way and it's time for me to retire, so. Yeah. Well, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, this is awesome. Thanks. Yeah, and this, this Discord thing, this is just a brand new thing for us. I mean, we've had our um, HeroQuest fans Discord channel for a while, but we never really did, like, a call-in show. So I figure you never know. You know, you might get somebody, and they're just hammered out of their mind, and <laughs> just roll with it, you know, like live TV, yeah. but. You seem like a cool guy, so I appreciate you coming in and always, bro. Nope, I want supporting us. we support everybody in the community, so I definitely mm -hmm. I'm going to you in. You're gonna get linked in, and uh, definitely gonna introduce yep. you to different groups that I'm a part of. Um, definitely, right. and then Wicked and everybody else will do the yeah. same. Like that's yeah. what we do in this. Yeah, because, I mean, my painting, I, I haven't done a whole lot of stuff. Mostly I've just been painting furniture, not like some of these other guys. I I inherited a, a set of 
Warhammer 40k figures that I was just kind of touching up, but mostly it's just, you know, just little little details here and there. But I learn a lot from these guys, you know, with their painting streams, and it is, I can see why it's so attractive, you know, you're just sitting there chilling, painting your stuff, you know, trading wisecracks, and pretty soon, you you know, you've got a masterpiece done, you know. I don't got no masterpieces done. I just paint, bro. <laughs> I yeah. just paint. Well, for me, it's mostly I, like I just want to get it onto the table as quickly as possible. And I, I get the cheapest paints I can get from like Walmart and stuff. So whatever. But it is neat seeing what some people can do. So. Yeah, it is. And we'll, we'll make sure you get squared away. Um, there's always giveaways on my stream. Um, three people just won some sets of paints. Um, so. You never know what kind of uh, giveaways we're having, so yeah. always be on those. See, uh, like, see, it's 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 like a it's like a late night talk show. You know, I have people on, and they can plug their <laughs> stuff, and you know, it's everybody wins, right? <laughs> That's how my show. I be telling people my campfire mm -hmm. is open. You just got to tell me, hey Prince, I want to get on the Discord. Cool, get on the Discord. Or uh, hey Knuckles, I want to chat. Cool. Let's chat. Like, I don't... Because, like, that's what my stream's about, is making sure everybody else can mm -hmm. talk about what they're doing, because everybody that comes on my stream is supporting mental health, and that's all I care about, you know? Yeah. Well, it's it's an important cause, especially these days. Uh, yeah. Especially sure. the... Uh, May the 6th is going to be a special stream. So, I let, hopefully, you can come in and, and check it out, and... Uh, Definitely get you some plugs in on that night. We'll see what we can do to help you out with your uh, community and your streaming. I'm interested in the game, so. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, Hero Quest, uh, Space Crusade, I mean, it's all tied into that Warhammer and um, 40K world. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm new to the painting stuff, but I'm learning a lot. Um, it all kind of started with me just, just uh, sharing my opinions, talking about lore, talking about um new releases and stuff but eventually i you know this is twitch it's supposed to be about games you know actually playing if you can so um, i was really excited to do that but i mean this is a game changer you know the fact that we can actually have that interactivity i don't have to just try to get lurkers in the chat to talk you know you guys can actually just come to me and just start talking you know i think that's awesome yeah definitely that's i'm glad you're enjoying it um I'm going to start cooking this dinner, bro, but I'm going to have your stream on in the background uh, okay. listening. Thanks. Yeah, well, the storm seems to have died down, so our, my original plan was going to go till 10, so I think we'll just do that, and uh, feel free to drop in or just listen. Either way, it's cool by me. Sounds good, man. I'm going to go pop over to the stream and uh, see what you got going on. Cool. All right, everybody, that was PSK Studio. Go check him out. Follow, rate, comment, subscribe, smash his like button if he has one. <laughs> I'm thinking of YouTube here. But, uh, yeah, we're on YouTube also. <laughs> you on YouTube or just Twitch? Or maybe? Uh, I'm just on Twitch for now. Um, maybe next year when we do turn ourselves into a nonprofit organization for the community, um, then we will uh, probably open up a YouTube channel just so we can get more people to see what we do. Oh, cool. So you're taking it to the next level, it sounds like. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I promised everybody if we made $4,000 as a community for mental health this year, I would do a, a, a non-profit organization. So I'm going to keep my paperwork. work. Do paperwork, but <laughs> yeah, I guess you, you, you got to start somewhere, right? So well, yeah, good luck so, with it. Good luck. I'll you. Yep. And I'll awesome. see you on stream. Okay. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. Is Strange Bus still out there? I guess he hasn't joined us yet. I'm sure I would have heard him by now if he was talking. Yeah, so uh, anybody else, uh, feel free to join us here in the Discord. Like I said, I mean, the lines are open. <laughs> It's like a, like a call-in show, you know, like a late-night talk show. Um, oh, he goes by Knucklehead. I see. Yeah, I wasn't looking at the main main chat.
yeah so uh that was a that was a cool surprise <laughs> yeah we need we need the hype man in here it's like whoo <laughs> yep yeah see there's there's the chill and then there's the uh the hype you know you get you get both uh some of the some of the guys that i've i've followed so far on twitch let's see we've got um gareth Rydmar. he's pretty chill and then we've got Wicked Mini uh, painting. He's he's uh, boisterous and loud, so he's kind of like the opposite. But you got both those guys, and then you got PSK Studio. He does his own thing in between there. So it sounds like he's working for a good cause and uh, worth supporting. So check him out for sure. And Strange Bus does his own thing. I mean, that's kind of what we all do. We all do our own thing, but having that idea of a larger community is is a cool thing. You know, we're not necessarily I mean, if, if it's competition, it's friendly competition, you know? So yeah, I could always, always do with some more players. So yeah, if, if nobody minds, we could go ahead and <laughs> we could go ahead and uh, start another quest here. If anybody wants to join us, I'm wondering where strange bus is. If he's still hunkered down. All right, let's let's start up another quest. Okay, so we're just gonna keep hammering our way until we uh, until we complete this. So this is the Xanon Pass. Good luck, barbarian, on this your first of three trials. Servants of the Frozen Horror have overrun the fortress, the guard Xanon Pass. This is the only pass over the Siberian Range, which you must cross to reach Ice Mountain. Keep in mind, this is the fictional Siberian range, C-Y-B-E-R-I-A-N, um, in the, this fictional world of HeroQuest. An iron door is your entry into the fortress. You must find the wooden exit door that leads out to the far side of the pass. All right, so we've got another barbarian who's going to pick up where the previous fallen warriors have failed. So we've got that iron door and let's see our barbarian all right she's gonna go through and what should her name be even though well let's see let's um let's call her Sonia because she's red and she's Sonia. So there she is. So this is, she's your standard barbarian. Eight body points, two mind points, mighty broadsword, no gear to speak of. And I think there's about a five second delay, but we'll do our best here. So she's rolling for movement. Got seven. One. Oh, there goes the iron door. It's okay. Saw where it landed. Okay. So we move through, and everything in the corridor is now revealed. So we've got a stone block in the way. And we've got a closed door down this way to the south. You can kind of picture that. And she's got a stone door in, or a stone wall in front of her. Nothing on the other side. You know what? Let's, let's try exploring the other, the other uh, the road less traveled. Let's go to the north. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I probably should have searched for traps. Searching for traps. No traps. Okay. Yeah, you probably want to search for traps first, then seek your doors, then treasure. Oh, yes. And I got to remember to sh shuffle the treasure deck here. Yeah, we, we suffered for some really bad rolls last time. But we'll see what happens. So it's Zargon's turn, but there's no monsters yet. So Sonya is going to go. Oh, yeah, and she's going to choose two skill cards from the combat card deck. So this is from Ye Olde N on shirts. So we've got Keen Hearing, which lets you take a glimpse into a room without actually going in there. So you can place the monsters and other objects. And Alertness. This allows you to automatically ignore one trap, ambush, wandering monster, or event. This is going to be really helpful because we 
we're just getting nailed with wandering monsters last time. So okay, so as a non-magic user, I figure you have your pure combat warrior uh, a little bit extra. So she's got those two skills that can be used any time. All right, so let's go roll for movement. Five, one, two. Now let's see what we see around the corner all the way over there. Yeah, we see a stone wall. Oh, we don't need the alchemist. <laughs> Just adjusting the camera. Okay, so we see a stone wall at the outer edge. So we're crossing onto the other side of the board there. And that's what we see. So since we already searched for traps to the south, let's search uh, to the east. And are there any traps? No, there are no traps. All right, let me just check the chat here. Okay, so Strange Bus is just waiting for the all clear. So yeah, um, you get here when it's safe, man. Uh, we'll be happy to have you. Okay, so no traps, so we could roll for movement. And we got a 10. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So let's move our cameras over here. Yeah, I joked before that I need four cameras. But hey, you know, we can't have everything in a low budget uh, stream, but we do have fun adjusting the cameras. Okay, so yeah, Hero Quest is all about exploration and rolling dice and all that fun stuff. All the stuff that's fun, it's in the game. I mean, EA Sports says it's in the game, but yeah. Okay, so one, two. All right, let's reveal what's in the double corridor. Looking down, we see nothing. Okay, let's search for traps again. No traps. Zargon can do nothing. All right. Sonia is going to search for, so just to cover everything, let's search for secret doors back the way we came. No secret doors. Okay. Loops back to our turn again. Let's search for secret doors down the double corridor. Nothing. Okay. Loops back to our turn again. See, I'm not using the evil wizard deck, so not drawing any bad cards in the meantime. Otherwise, every turn would be like, oh, oh, we're going to die. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll for movement. Now, hopefully I don't kill off the uh, Barbarian before Strange Bus gets back, because I, I would like to have him take over. Now, if somebody else gets here and wants to play as well, you know, we'll take your advice, of course. So we've only got three. It's not, not that great. One, two, three. And we are utilizing the blind trap jump mechanic. So if at any time you want to jump a square... You can just uh, roll one combat die, and as long as it's not a skull, you jumped over the square, assuming you've got enough movement. That way you can potentially avoid traps on the other side of a door. So now to use the keen hearing, you actually have to be up against the door. So I can't look at that door that we skipped. All right. Okay. Um, next, well, I can't search a corridor for treasure, so let's just roll again. Ten. That's a ten. Okay. One, two, three. Got to reveal what our line of sight indicates. So we've got a stone block to the east. Nothing to the west. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, let's search for traps. No traps. Okay, it loops back around to Barbarian's turn. All right, we're rolling. Seven. Let me just check the chat here real quick.
Ah, we got a few more people joined us. Welcome everybody to HeroQuest fans. So, as mentioned, PSK Studio is with us. Welcome. We got Midsoon, It's a Ma, It's the Fritz joining us again. Duani, Dankin' Around, another TV viewer, Alien Gathering, Zero X Two, and Sega Dream. Welcome everyone. And the storm has died down, so I think we're doing well so far. So hopefully you didn't get any hail damage. And let me see. Ah, nice. Okay, so Strange, Strange Bus is good to go, it sounds like. Glad to hear it. Yeah, so uh, if I mention, if I name drop anybody, go ahead, check out their streams. I'm sure they could use your support. See what they got. And if you know anybody that's interested in fantasy tabletop gaming from this era, speci specifically HeroQuest or Space Crusade, um, you know, it's not the same as Dungeons & Dragons. I realize they're different games, but, you know, uh, try something a little different. A little more nostalgic, I mean, depending on your era, because D&D actually came out in the 70s, so before uh, HeroQuest. But for me, this was my introduction to fantasy gaming, and it's still kind of the game as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I like like Space Crusade a lot. Battle Masters, I just don't have the, the space to really play it very much, as much as I'd like. Because, I mean, you just you need like a whole floor to do that. All right. So... What I need to do is figure out what's in this corridor. So there's no traps. Let's roll again for movement. I think there's like a five second delay, so sorry about that. We got nine. All right, let's go. One, two, three. All right, line of sight reveals what's in the corridor. We see nothing. Okay, searching for traps. No traps detected. All right. Okay, it's my turn again. Of course it's my turn. I'm playing against myself. Not for long. Okay. Uh, you didn't see that. Sorry, that's seven. Just checking the chat. All right, so it looks like Strange Bus is getting ready. So, okay, I'll try not to kill him off before he gets here. <laughs> well, if, 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 if so, we'll just start fresh. Okay, so we got seven. Let's uh, take a step. Oh, would you look at that? I landed in a wandering monster trap. And yes, the rules clearly state that uh, the wandering monster trap cannot be detected by searching. So what's the wandering monster in this quest? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's two skeletons. And you place them as close to the hero as possible. Two skeletons attack immediately. Now this does not stop my movement. So if I can, uh, well, they're blocking the path. So I guess it will stop my movement. Okay, so the first skeleton attacks with two. One skull. Let's just move this over a little bit. So it's a little easier to see. One skull, okay. Barbarian only defends with two. Blocked it. ka -ching. All right. The skeleton that's in front attacks her with two. One skull. All right. She defends with two once again. Two defend dice. Oh, no defense. So first hit goes to the Barbarian. Is down to seven body points. Now, she has no healing abilities, so if she goes to zero, that's it. Okay. So there's nothing more I can do on that turn, really. Oh, you know, I could have used this card to negate that. I forgot. Well, that's how it goes. Next time. Just get a little swig of water here. Cheers, dead gamer. It's not quite as dry today. Of course, we got all that rain. This will be humid. All right. So it's technically Zargon's turn, so those monsters get to attack again. See how unfair this is? But they're the bad guys. They, they have to fight dirty, right? 
forces of chaos, or dread as you want to call them. I like chaos. Okay. One skull. So that's the top skeleton. So I'm defending. Ah, take a hit. So it's down to six. Bottom skeleton attacks. One skull. Defending. Ching. Blocked it. If you didn't see that, but there was a white shield. Heroic shield is a defense. Let's just fix that brightness. It's just a little too bright. That's better. Okay. There, we don't have to have that Batman villain cam anymore. Okay, so now it's the hero's turn. So I'm going to try to club my way through that first skeleton into the path of danger. Because that's what heroes do. Broadsword strike, totally missed. And there's nowhere to move, so it's the monster sure now. All right, slugfest continues. Okay, so the top skeleton is attacking. Missed. Barbarian finally gets a break. Skeleton's not going to let up. Second, second skeleton on the bottom is going to attack. One skull. Barbarian defends with two. Blocked it. Okay. Now it's the barbarian's turn again. Get the broadsword out, attacking the, the bottom skeleton. Three skulls. Block that. There's no way the skeleton can block that because the skeleton only gets two defend dice. Skeleton is destroyed. Okay. Now I can finally move out of there. Yeah, I need some healing. I need a crossbow. I need some armor. <laughs> I mean, they, they set these quests up saying, oh, if you're a brand new hero quest player, you should be able to play through this. And as we've seen, it's pretty dastardly. I mean, instead of two skeletons, it probably should have just been one. I mean, later on, you know, they're preparing you for the wars ahead, but still. Okay, roll to five. Okay, first of all, did I forget to put anything out? No, I didn't. Okay. Let's go straight ahead. One, two, okay, anything I can see down that corridor to the west. Yes, I see some things. Okay, so I see a door there, and I see another door on the far side. Okay. Now, each one of those rooms could be packed with monsters for all I know, right? I'm trying not to look ahead. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty hard not to, but yeah, I'm trying not to look ahead. Okay. Well... I've used up my action, so yeah, you know what? I'm just going to stay, stay where I'm at. Sargon moves the skeleton forward and attacks, because that's what he does. One skull. All right, let's get some defense going for the barbarian. Cha-ching! Blocked it. Now, if I'd had a buckler, I could have done a shield bash, but I don't. That's a homebrew weapon. All right, Barbarian's going to turn around and attack. I mean, facing your enemy doesn't mean anything in this game. It's just for fun. So three, three combat dice against the skeleton. One skull against the skeletal warrior. He's going to roll his two defense. He blocked it. Ka-ching! Because he got the evil monster shield. The bunny of immortal evil. Okay. Well, I could run, or just at least force the monster to use up his movement. Six. Hmm. Yeah, I could go down that corridor, or I could continue on that way. Let's see. Yeah. I'm just going to stay where I'm at. Let them come. Okay. Skeleton attacks, one skull, Barbarian defends, ching, blocked it with one white shield. So now the Barbarian's going to attack and hopefully eliminate that nuisance, that bony nuisance. One skull, Skeleton defends, no defense, finally wiped it out. Okay, Skeleton is eliminated. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Ah, 
Ah, nice. So uh, Strange Bus is coming back. Does that mean he's coming to our stream? Certainly welcome. Thanks again, PSK Studio. Yeah, he says uh, some assets to send. Ah, Plasmortar. I didn't see that person. Welcome to our first time viewer there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I forget to check the chat sometimes. I'm uh, sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, there he is. Give me, uh, give me one, one second, because I don't see your screen yet. So uh, I'm going to have to bring up um, your your Twitter, your, uh, your Discord is having trouble showing up on my end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me reshare my screen for you there, Strange Bus. Okay. I'm actually going to be capturing the Discord screen on my stream end. So, oh wow, there we go. I was going to say, if you capture my uh, screen there, you could just like, I don't know if you can clip it just just so it's the action, but I guess it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, let me uh, my let secrets. me do that here real quick. Everybody can see my encoding like, overload. Yeah. I'm going to get all your trade secrets. All of them. All of them. Give me one second, and I will do that. Um. I, I tried to kill this this character off as quickly as I could, but you you came back before they died. So I yeah, know. I'm sorry. I was uh, I had it's to really wait for the all clear, and then I had to wait for the family to pack up because, like I said, my my kids are pretty wild, and streaming with my kids down here is an impossibility. Yeah, fam it's, family uh, family stream. Yeah, would have been uh, just got a big jug of Kool Aid really in a bouncy house and uh, just let it go. Yep. All right, give me one second. Let me see if I can go ahead and get this done. Um, as far as capturing the... Yeah. So, oh, oh, yeah, it's locked. Hold on. So welcome once again to the strange bus. He is with us yeah. again. Alive and well. So did you get any big uh, hailstones out there? Yeah, we did. Um, I don't know if they were golf ball size like they were saying, but... We're looking at that government weather. I'm, they always give like the worst case scenario. It's like they really do. Like uh, you know, hailstones mixed with fire. You know, serpents, uh, <laughs> pestilence. You're like, really? It's like, wow. Here, actually, I'll do um, I'll do this because I'm having a. It actually won't let me good zoom in that far, without still capturing your OBS window. Let me grab your stream real quick. Give me one second. Sorry, folks. We're just. I might actually have a better chance of grabbing your stream window. Coordinating. But yeah, this whole interactive hero quest thing. This is. I mean, this is what I wanted to be doing from day one. But we just started with me uh, doing these hour-long rants about. I don't know if everybody's going to hear double either. Sorry. It's okay. So okay, if people are tuned on. into you, they're going to hear you talking to me. And if they turn in to me, they're going to hear me talking to you. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're just, we're just doing it. it, people. We're going in. We're <laughs> going in. We're going in full throttle. Full throttle. Yep. Oh, my gosh. No, no. Get out of here, thing. All right. Well, while Strange Bus is trying to trying to get get the technical issues ironed out, we're just going to forge ahead here. And I think we've got a five second delay. Let's see. Well, that's going to be kind of weird. Ooh. Okay. I have a feeling that maybe I should. Uh, I don't know if this does anything, but if I just restart the stream, or is that going to goof you up? Um, I can capture your Discord window. It's the fact that um, your Discord window pops up. Well, even if I full screen it, it pops up pretty small. And I oh. can't zoom it in that much enough to where it will still not capture OBS. Okay. So, well, um, come over that's to the big thing. Fans, then. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, they can have a window <laughs> open with you. And a window open with me. Hey. Yeah. See, everybody wins. As long as your internet connection can handle it. So I don't, yeah, I don't mind. 
Sorry, Three, people two, are going to... One, and we're live. Yes, so we are doing all this troubleshooting. I mean, the storm's over. What's what's going on? So I got Strange Bus here with me. You're a HeroQuest fan. So if you're watching through his stream or you're watching through my stream, whatever, welcome. And we've got our usual viewers. I think I've welcomed everybody multiple times. So I was having a nice chat with PSK Studio earlier. He's doing uh, painting for charity and... Uh, it's going to hook me up with some D&D players or something like that. So, hey, uh, it's more the merrier. But yeah, Strange Bus and I are going to try to see if we can do some more HeroQuest stuff here. So are you seeing my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have that five second delay on my end. But besides that, I, yeah, I can see your screen. Yeah, see, it's like, you know, uh, network news. You know, it's like, <laughs> and live from Beirut. Hey, Steve, how are you? <laughs> you know, <laughs> live via satellite. You know. um, okay, so the Barbarian has been reduced down to six body points. And this is like our third Barbarian <laughs> that has come through. And she's got uh, a hallway with no traps and no secret doors. And she could go that way or she could continue on uh, down this way. So what do you think? Um, okay, so um, if I remember correctly, I'm rolling to move right now, right? Yes. Okay, that's a perfect way to start. So we got five. Okay, so I'll probably take the path of least resistance. I'll probably go to the first, or I'll probably go, uh, for, yeah, I'll probably go that way. With, um, and then I'll choose the first door. All right. So we're opening up the door. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Um, the two skills that you've got this time are alertness, which allows you to avoid a wandering monster, which is going to be very important. You just have to remember to use okay. it. Um, this one will allow you to find out what's in the room without actually going inside. But you can only use it once, just like both of these skills. So keen hearing. So if any time you want to use that, you just let me know. Okay. So do you, do you want to open the door just the normal way this time? Let me, let me see here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it uh, the normal way this time. All right. Just check in the chat to see if anybody is like, no way. Oh, nice. Yeah, we were talking about Hero Forge earlier, how you can make your own minis and stuff there. But I found out the hard way that it's best to just buy the STL file instead of, um, you know, paying for the pre pre colored mini. It it was just not worth it. You know, like forty four dollars for you know a little plastic three D printed thing. All right, so we're opening the door. All right, let's see what's behind it. There's actually a lot of people that do uh, 3D printing now. Okay, so in the room you see a table. Once I realize where I put the table, there it is. Okay, so there's a table in the room and there okay. is another door in the corner there. Oh. Okay, so you don't see any monsters. All right, you want to use more of your movement to walk in? You got yeah. two more steps. Just two? Yeah. Um, I would like to investigate for traps first. Okay, here's the thing. You cannot search for traps until you're actually in the room. Oh, but okay. I know, I know. Um, but I have implemented... See, this is a rule the designers talked about, but they didn't implement. But I'm just going to homebrew it back in. Is to okay. say, if you suspect... they're without searching of course if there might be a trap on the other side of the door normally there's no way to avoid that you can say i'm going to jump the trap or i'm going to jump that square so you roll one die and if it's a skull you got to take the consequences of what's ever on that square but if you've got enough movement you can actually jump over you just got to tell me which direction you're going so you could but go what if there's a trap on the other square then you're screwed unless you're going to say like, I'm jumping that one and that one, but see, well, let's see, like, you've got two squares. So you got one, two, you can't like jump again. So right. 
if you had enough movement, yeah, you could just be like, I'm jumping that one and that one and that one. And you just keep doing it until you fail <laughs> in theory. So, okay. So you want to try to jump that, that square? I guess uh, no, we'll just, we'll just walk it. Just, just, just take it. Okay. Just take the first step. Can I take the first step and then investigate for traps? Yes. Yeah. You can just use okay. your action and that's going to end your movement. Okay. So you're searching the room for traps. No traps. Okay. So that takes no. the edge off. So Zargon has nothing to do. So it's your turn again. I'll roll for your movement here. Four. So now you've already searched for traps. You've got secret doors and treasure as your other actions there. Um, Cause each room treasure? Be, yeah, each room can be searched once for, for each of those things. All right, so we're All drawing right. a card. Hazard. Bummer. Suddenly, the stone beneath your feet gives way. You, lose, you fall into a shallow hole, losing one body point. And ending your turn, you may climb out and move normally on your next turn. All right. Uh, Unless you wanted to okay, use that so card. <laughs> I mean, that would only yeah, save is... you from, from one body point. Uh, so alertness, if it'll just come on, autofocus. There we go. Yeah, it, it will allow you to ignore that if you wanted. OK, want... so what does that do? So you just won't lose the body point. But that's fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that. OK. All right, so we've used that up. So you're still at six. OK, so it's your turn again. Roll for movement. OK, so you got 11. Uh, um, and there's really only one way to go. Let's go towards that doorway, the next doorway. You want to continue on in the room or you want to like leave and go that way? Yeah, let's, let's go. Yeah, let's leave. Okay. Cause there's nothing else to do here, right? Well, you could search for secret doors, I suppose. You haven't done that yet. There aren't, uh, there aren't that many secret doors in a quest, but you know if you miss one, I'll... yeah, Let, yeah. Let's just go to the next room. Okay. All right. So leaving one, two, three, four, five. All right. Just checking the chat real quick there. Oh, I know. I'll just drag my window over. Now I can see them both there. See, I should have done that from the beginning. All right. Opening the door. Or do you want to use your keen hearing? Uh, remind me what the keen... Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll <laughs> reveal the room without opening the door. Of course, the thing yeah, is... Yeah, let's go a... ahead. <laughs> okay, so let's use it. So, <laughs> the evil wizard player must tell you how many and what type of monsters occupy the room. Okay. All right, so there are two monsters, and they are both orcs. I think I can take them. All right. It's, it's a head in. All right, because that, that didn't use an action, so, okay. Oh, is it, am I still able to make a, to make a movement then? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can still do the okay. rest. You did one, two, three, four. Uh, oh, yes, you, you got out one, two, three, four, five. You got six more. Okay, so you got a couple of orcs in there. Now let's go in and attack them. All right. And there's a door behind him. Okay. Straight on to the first one. Do you have a preference? Um, either or. Okay. With the one probably right in front of me, yeah. probably be the most logical. Yep. Okay. So you're going to attack him with your broadsword. All right. Two skulls. And he defends with two. And he got no defense, so you killed him. Yeah. 
just slaughtered that guy. <laughs> I have better luck in this than I do in my Marlin stream. Yep. Well, if we had the boots of blazing speed, you would be uh... blinding speed. Oh, <laughs> blinding speed. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Funny. I was going to say, I had some homebrew cards. Oh, I should grab those next time. I actually do have some boots of speed. They're not boots of blinding speed, but <laughs> oh, he's hacking, so it doesn't really blind him. Okay. That would be it. Would be bad because originally those boots would make your character a hundred percent blind. Yeah. So, so what I, I'd just be like covering up the board, like uh, you can't see him. <laughs> but you can move double the amount of turns. Yeah, just crashing into things. It'd be it'd be interesting. Okay, so Zargon's turn. So you killed the monster, but the other one comes for you. Three dice attack from the orc. One skull. All right, so Strange Bus, you are going to try to shrug off that blow with your two defend dice. Oh, okay. and it, you failed. Oh. Talking about lucky rolls. It's because I'm rolling for you, right? No, just kidding. So yeah, I don't you, have that. You have to blow, oh, that special on, blow on it through the. <laughs> yeah, you got to You like you know like data. He's got to like squeeze the dice so they're like perfect, and then he can time it just right. I would I'd blow on the dice, but then it would annoy it would annoy the people at home. Yeah, <laughs> blowing into your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> who are these guys? V virtual blow. You you got to like donate to the stream to uh, do that. You get yeah. that ASMR. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't know why we're getting all these subs, but hey, you know, it must be doing something right. <laughs> once you once you start down that dark path, there's, there's no stopping you. Okay. Forever will I dominate your destiny? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. We're losing, <laughs> we're losing the plot here. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So who's attacking who? So I think you just oh. lost something. So now you're going to attack him back, right? I take it. Or... Yeah, I think I lost. Didn't I lose like I lost a, like one health, right? Yeah, you did. But now it's, okay. now it's your turn. So I mean, you could you could run, you could fight. Um, let's go ahead and. There's always the guy that runs. Let's fight him door to door, activating every room <laughs> until he's got a huge <laughs> army after him, and he's like, "Uh, this was not not a good idea." Okay, so you're a hero. You know, you gotta you gotta. Here to the hero's code. Okay, two skulls. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty good roll. Uh, blocked one and was crushed by the other one. So you wiped out another orc. Yeah, it's because I, I like virtually blew into the dice. Yep. You virtually hacked the dice. I, I hear you. Okay, so we did that. See, that's the thing. You don't get the same banter when you're just playing by yourself. I mean, I try, but, you know, I don't always get my own jokes, so it's it's kind of it's much better having you here, so thanks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, now what do you want to do? I mean, you can you can move. Um Oh, I didn't investigate for traps, did I? <laughs> I nope. just kind of ran in there and started yeah. attacking the orcs. It's a hero. Well, Ooh. the thing is, you can't search for traps when there's monsters present. So that's why you use the jump mechanic, and that's really the only thing you can do. But yeah, you retrace your steps carefully. So you just want to loop back to your next turn and search for traps then? <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead. Smart idea. Okay, no traps. All right. Um, the next turn, I'll probably go ahead and roll for movement, and then we'll probably head towards that next door into that next room ahead. Five. Okay. One, two, three. Opening the door. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's see what we've got in this room for you. Okay. We've got a door on the eastern side. And we've got an evil mummy. One square. Oh boy. Yep. And for reference, the mummy is your strongest undead monster. Only four squares of movement, but three attack, four defense, and two body. Okay. Let's go ahead and... 
Because uh, I still got uh, one move, right? I can still move one, yep. one square in, right? Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and move in and uh, attack him. Okay. I'm feeling lucky, I think. Do we a punk? Okay. All right. Going in. Attacking. Right? Yep, we're attacking. I just got to ask. You're like, no, wait. <laughs> All right, two skulls. Okay, so the mummy defends with four. Oh, my gosh. Huh, look at that. No defense. Wow. Lucky guy. I mean, I've, I've had... Uh, <laughs> it's funny. I had a guy once. He had a battle axe, which is four dice. And he had two Chaos Warriors, and it's like, he drank a potion that gave him two attacks. He killed one. He just got a perfect strike. <laughs> and he killed the other one. I was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're making me look bad. But, yeah, it happens. So, okay. Nice job. All right. Um, the board is yours. Let's go ahead and investigate for traps. All right. Excellent choice, because... Let's get really close so we can see a little better. The floor looks weak. The floor looks weak. And what that means okay. is it's probably a pit trap. So, but now, based on where it is, you could easily go around it. Right? Right. Since there's only one of you, you don't have to worry about, you know, a big bunch of heroes tromping through there. Okay. So you've got four for movement. Let's go ahead and move around the trap to the next door. Okay. One, two, three. Now, do you want to wait till your next turn or do you want to just run into the room? Because you've used your action. Let's just go for it. All right. <laughs> The no Fs given stream. I'm the I'm the brave I'm the bravest warrior there is. That's right. All right, so we got our uh, ornately painted uh, bookshelf there, and we've got a door on the other end. Okay, so you're gonna move into the room. Boom. All right. Yeah. Zargon can do nothing, so it's your turn again. Um, go ahead and investigate for traps. Smart. See, so, yeah, I feel like I've taught you well. <laughs> Obi-Wan has also taught you well. Okay. Um, as far as traps go, let's see. The ceiling looks suspicious and the ceiling looks suspicious. Oh man. Yeah. They're blocking your path. Okay. Um, Search for treasure. Okay, so on your next turn, we're looping back. All right, searching for treasure. Yeah. Gold. You find a loose stone and tear it from the wall. Behind it, you discover a small leather pouch wrapped in an old rag. Peering inside, you find 25 gold coins. See now... Awesome. Shouldn't Indiana Jones be able to just like, you know, use that bag of coins to like throw it on the <laughs> trigger the trap and like get out of there? Is that like an action? Can I throw my no. gold pouch? Oh. <laughs> Actually, you know, I was just thinking. So I, I there is a kind of a house rule we used to have, which is like if you could come up with a plausible enough scenario, I just roll a die to see if it worked. <laughs> if it doesn't, then it doesn't. Like just a fifty percent chance. So that's like uh wouldn't that be like a that'd be like a strength check or something, wouldn't it? I, I'm not I don't know enough about those other games to, to know if that's what it would be called, but yeah, anybody in the chat feel free to clue me in. If anybody's still awake, everybody else is hunkering down. Actually I don't even know where these people are necessarily in the country. So they might be just sitting on a beach, you know. Sipping their margaritas and not a care in the world. 
Okay, so you want to take your bag of gold and throw it at one of those uh, squares to try to trigger the trap? Oh, seriously? Yeah, do it with the one right ahead. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to roll a die, and if it's a skull, you failed. Or no, we're going to do it the other way. If it's a skull, you succeed. If it's anything else, you failed. Okay. We'll just deal with it creatively. My chances are slim. Oh, you failed. Okay. Aww. So you threw your bag of gold there, and the bag of gold is just like laying there, <laughs> and it it didn't it didn't trigger whatever it was supposed to trigger. It's not heavy enough. Okay. <laughs> I will probably not be able to go and retrieve it, huh? <laughs> well, huh. I mean, your your only choice really at this point is I mean you could just avoid this altogether. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What? Okay, look at your screen. You got yeah. a door here, two traps in the way. You got a room. You got another door. Connected to a room, connected to a door. Connected to a room, connected to a door, connected. So you could go the other way around. Say. Oh, I could. But I lost my gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, could, I could do another one where it's like you, you reach you reach your, your sword <laughs> to see if you could snatch the gold without triggering the trap. We should make this interesting. Yes, let's go. <laughs> go for it. The barbarian now feels that. Even though the ceiling looks weak, he threw the threw the bag of gold at the floor. You're gonna have to like happen. take your like leather thong and like swing it to try to get the after it. Okay. If it's a skull, you succeed and you get your gold. If not, we're gonna have to come up with a, something crazy happening. Do I take like, oh. multiple damage? <laughs> Oh no! So you 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 reach your sword and your your sword uh, gets snagged and and now your sword is laying there next to the bag of gold. So am I now? Get, am I triggering the trap? Is the trap falling on me now? No, the trap is is still there. It's like not triggered. There's just a bunch a pile of stuff laying <laughs> right where the trap is. Okay, now I just I'm just gonna have to go and grab my stuff at the trap. Just to okay. go. Grab your stuff, trigger the trap. Okay. First, we'll roll for your movement to keep us honest. So, seven. All right. So, you're walking onto the square. Yep. All right. Took the risk. Took the risk. To eat comedy. It. comedy hero. Comedy hero here. Let me just see. I got I got to look this one up, actually. Let's see. We've bent the rules. We've gone too far. We have. Swinging axe trap. Oh, a, no. a huge axe swings out from a hidden alcove in the ceiling. The hero rolls two combat dice. You lose a body point for each skull rolled, and you cannot defend. All right, so let's uh, see if you take two damage. Actually, I should be rolling monster dice for this. Am I rolling to, like, dodge it, then? You're rolling to see how much damage it does to you. Oh, so, no. In theory, it could do nothing. Oh, it only did one uh, one damage. Ugh. Oh, so, nice. So you're down to four, but you've got your sword and your gold back. <laughs> yes. It was worth it. Yep. It was worth getting grazed. Yeah. Now, the thing is, though, that axe, I mean, you can still go the other way, but that axe doesn't go away. I mean, it still is going to strike whoever touches that square again. Okay. So, um, okay, you've... Uh, it, you, it's it loops back around to your turn. Let's uh, let's roll to go through that door. All right. That was a fun little excursion. Seven, <laughs> one, opening the door. Two. Just keeping it. We're keeping it fresh. Yep. Okay, so you step into the room. Let's see what we've got. Uh-oh. 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 It's a Yeti. Oh. 
So the is game. it in my spaghetti? <laughs> that is another board game. Uh, we will be playing that next week. No, just kidding. Uh, we won't. Um, but hey, if, if anybody wants to host that game, go for it. Yeti and the Spaghetti. Do you actually have that game? Um, you my kids some... have it. Oh, uh, yeah. You're like, well, I don't have it, but my kids have it. Right. Good answer. Yep. It's like, I've got it, but they keep playing it. It's like, ah, come on. Okay, so yeah, there's a Yeti. Um, you can attack him. You've still got Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay. We can do it. All right. Let me uh, let me just give you his stats here, though. Oh, boy. So he's got eight squares of movement, three attack, three defense, five body points, and two mind points. Uh, and he's got a hug attack. A hug attack? Yep. Yeah, see, he looks like Cookie Monster, and he gives you hugs, but it's it's not it's not the good kind. So, kind of reminds you of a certain uh, certain other movie, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I feel like I'm about to get wampa stomped. Yep. Yeah. It's, what's the matter, girl? You smell something? <laughs> okay. So you're attacking it with your broadsword. Can't kill him in one blow anyway, but we'll see what happens. All right, one skull. He that sucks. Yeah, he defends with three. Too bad traps don't affect monsters. You could like run back and like get him get sliced in half, you know. But no. Hey, I know you you sling the monster over your back and you stand on the trap. It's like, hey, it can't hit him, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's. I feel like if we get some D and D players in here, they're going to be pulling stuff like that. I'm going to be like, ah, oh, okay. Just yeah, you know, stole cold stunning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got to slam a couple beers together and chug them down at once. Hit him with the RKO. Yeah, out of nowhere. All right. Well, he didn't get any defense at all. So at least you scored oh. one hit on him. Nice. I got four more to go. Yep. So I'm supposed to put a skull tile underneath him. Okay, my turn. Oh, unless... Oh uh, well, let's see, you moved to go in there and you attacked him. So yeah, you're done. My turn. Three dice. Okay, two skulls. And you defend with two. This is the end for our hero. Oh, look at that. Double shields. You blocked them both. Oh, sweet. Okay, well, uh, I could move, but I'm not really inclined to. So, your turn. Yeah, let's, let's hit him again. Hit him again. All right. Missed. Missed her completely. That's your new name. Oh. Yeah. All right, well. Uh, uh, my fatigue is too high. I guess so. Too tired. Run or uh, stay where you're at? Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm still good. We're still good. Okay. All right. I'll stay. Coming for you. Two skulls. All right, let's get your two defense in here. He really needs some armor. <laughs> uh, you got one shield and you took one hit. So you're down to three, and unfortunately what this means is he puts you in the hug attack. Oh no. Which means that you cannot move, you can't do any actions, but I did look in the designer notes, and they basically broke this monster. So we're repairing it based on the first draft version, which says okay. that you get to roll two dice, and so... If you normally the hold like on my turn, because it loops back around, it would would mean it would do one body point of damage. If you roll one white uh, white shield, you negate the damage. If you roll two, you break the hold. But otherwise, you'll take one body point of damage. Okay, so now okay. It, it is your turn, so you can try to roll to see what happens. Yeah, let's try to get out if can. Yeah. But in the final version of the game, they just didn't let you. They just said, yeah, you take two damage. The next turn, you take two damage. It's like, 
how are you supposed to there's no way you can get out of it so it's just oh it's just a death, oh, a death room <laughs> well somebody else is supposed to come up and help you but you're by yourself so why did they put the monster <laughs> there in the first place oh just don't go in that room yeah but how are you supposed to know so and it's for first time players so it's like come on okay so let's see if you get new white shields you got one okay so no damage but you're, you don't break the hold so it's okay. my my turn so technically you would take another point of damage but you get to roll again let's see what happens i don't have any cards to like help me like with health or anything this time right no unfortunately not you've used used them um, both um oh nothing okay. so you take one so you're down to Oof. two we're looking grim all right uh it's your turn again so you get to try to get out of it again okay see we'll see if uh the game needs more tweaking it's like a play test. Okay, look at that. Double. You saw that. There right? we go. Yep. Okay, so you yep. bro broke the hold, so you're out of it. And they don't say that counts as an action, so I'm going to say you can attack him. You want to attack him or you want to yeah. run? Yeah, let's go ahead and counter. Let's do it. All right. It'll be my last stand, but I'm doing it. Two skulls. Okay. He defends with three. No, uh, one defense. So, okay, so he takes another hit. Oof. He's down to three. Yep. You've got seven moves. I think if I survive this one, I'm, uh... Oh, can I move still? <laughs> yeah, because you're out of the hold. Uh, yeah, now let's get out of here. Okay. You want to go through the other door instead of through the axes again? Yeah, let's definitely go through the other door. It, normally, I wouldn't. I wouldn't remind you. I'd just be like, "Oh, which way do you want to go?" <laughs> One, two, three. We're opening the door. That room is already revealed. You just want to keep on going. Yep, get as far as we can away from him. Four, five. So we're low on health. Six, seven. Let's see. Let's see if he can make chase. He can move eight squares. So. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he's gonna get right back in your face. Oh no. Alright. So you attacked and you ran. I mean it's the best you could do. Yeah, he only gets you in the hold if he damages you. That's how it works. Three skulls. Crap. Oh boy. Oh, this could be it. Sorry slash not sorry. Okay. <laughs> you blocked two of them. Okay. Oh man, I'm on my last legs. Yep. Your turn. Oh, you're in. You're in the uh, hold. You're in the hold now. Oh crap. Yeah. yeah. So you got to see if you get out of it. I hope this doesn't sour you on Hero Quest. I assure you, most of the. Quests oh no, are dude! Not, I'm like on the edge hard. of my seat now. This is this, this is, is interesting. This is like one of the hardest quests you could ever play. This is uh this is where it get, got interesting because like you know you know just slashing people down is fine but yeah I'm dead. Well, <laughs> you fail you failed there, but now it's my turn. So now technically this is this is the deciding roll right, right now. Yeah, if you don't get any white shields, you're you're gone. You're a goner. Okay, you got one. No damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> try try again. Okay. We're hanging in there. Yep. It's all based on the dice. Oh, you broke the hold. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The the pants of heaviness. All right. Um <laughs> watch the other stream to find out what that means. Okay. Um okay, so you broke the hold, so you can attack. Or you can run. Okay, or you can do both. <laughs> um well, if he moves eight, yeah, let's go ahead and attack him one more time. See if we can get a lucky hit in, because he's got three more uh, hit points, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can knock him down. One skull. Dang. Yeah. But I mean, if you get twelve, you could outrun him. Um, no defense, so he takes another hit. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, roll the move now. Get out of there. Six. Uh, okay. Uh, um, I'm a goner. Um, let's. Um, 
Leave that room and go to the south. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's check. Five, six. Oh, you can't see it. Five, six. You can see it diagonally, so you can actually see this square. So you're going to actually see a closed door. That's as far as you can see. The last thing you see before the Yeti completely yeah. annihilates you. Yeah, there's a ring on the door. That's interesting. It's one of those oh, ring man. doorbells, you know, pr promo code HeroQuest fans. I'm just kidding. That's not a real sponsor. Just a joke. <laughs> it's like they clip that out and use it. It's like jerks. Nah. I, I don't know anything about their products. I just thought it'd be funny. It's like the last thing you see before you die is the ring. And it's like, yeah, yeah let's get it. Because it's funny because I had to explain it. All right. Okay. Well, uh, here comes Promo the code. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. <laughs> One. Oh, this pile of. See, this is another mechanic where it's like, yeah, they just use those hero click spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. This big teetering pile of skulls. It gets even worse in the Elf Quest pack because you got 10 body point monsters. It's like, come on, guys. Oh, man. Yep. I made this little uh, little uh, chart that you can like chart out his body points, but yeah, whatever. What's the use? Okay, so he's going to attack you because, of course, he will. One body point. It's nice knowing you. All right, it's a good run. My old master. Yeah, we'll just 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 for fun, we're gonna roll. Yeah, you you would have deflected one of them. Decapitated. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, you thought you were made of cookies. Wasn't really your fault. <laughs> His stomach is stronger than my will. Yep. Oh, oh, no, no. Not bad for a, a full first run, right? No. You, I guess. You, uh, you got pretty far. Yep. Well, let's see, we got another uh, 40 minutes, 42 minutes. You have a uh, you have a couple messages from uh, PSK Studio saying uh, that you will go to the store. Um, he's asking if you will be here when oh. they get back. Oh, I'm going to have to keep on uh, keep on entertaining. Well, how about you? Uh, you uh, still doing stuff? You want to try something different? Yeah. Um, in fact, let me um, real quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a drink, um, and then I will uh, be back for another game. If you want to prep, sure. And then I'll be back. I'll do uh, maybe one or two more rounds with you. Nice. Awesome. All right. All right. Thanks. See you. See you soon. Yeah. No problem. Quick BRB guys, don't go away. That's how that's how it goes on HeroQuest fans. You never know what can happen, especially with these uh, live call-in shows, you know, on Twitch. So yeah, as you can see, the Xanon Pass is uh, just a killer quest. I mean, if you've got patient players who are willing to like replay it and try different things, that's fine. But man, what were they thinking when they designed this? Really? I mean, I could make this a lot easier if I just gave them some starting gear. Just be like, okay, fine. You want some armor? Here's some armor. You want some potions? Here's some potions. At a certain point, it kind of feels like you're making the game too easy, but I mean, really. I mean, really. Let's see. We're just going to have to decide. Because, yeah, we could do a completely different quest. We wouldn't have to keep doing the frozen horror. I don't know. I'm just I'm just curious if it, it can be won even. I did have a player that won, but I mean he had he had some starting gear. Ah yeah, there is there is a way we can do it. There is definitely a way. And we will find it. Ah, PSK Studio. He's asking if we need more players. Uh, yes. Um, if you are wanting to join in, or if you have somebody there that wants to join us, we'd be happy to have them. I would love that. 
and I'm happy to, if they've never played HeroQuest before, that's fine. Uh, we can remind and uh, teach how to play here because it's pretty. It's a pretty easy game as far as like tabletop fantasy fighting games go. Wouldn't really call it an RPG. RPG light maybe. Oh, nice. He's got two people. Well, sure. <laughs> you know, it'd be kind of fun uh, because after the number of, of uh, barbarians that have perished on this quest, I think uh, it might be time to bring in some bigger guns. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so hop into the Discord, PSK Studio, whoever you've got there with you. And we'd be happy to facil facilitate the game. Nice. Yeah, let's see. Uh, we can have... If we've got three heroes... Oh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be very interesting. <laughs> you know, because it, it, it's kind of like the Mythbusters. You know, they, they try to do the thing and it doesn't work. And they're just like, fine, we'll just uh, launch a an old car out of a catapult with a dummy inside full ballistics gel and just like see what happens. You know? After the store. Okay, so he's got to go to the store first. Okay. Well, yeah, so we'll get set up here. I think we'll uh, take one more crack at the Xanon Pass. You know, it's like a video game. You get your, uh, you beg your mom for another dollar. You take it down to the token machine. You get it changed out for quarters or tokens or whatever. And you march back over there. You wait for the other kid to finish. And then you're like, okay, I'm, I'm, go I'm going for it again. And if I don't win, I'm just going home. <laughs> Yeah, I think if we do it that way, if we incorporate uh, two or possibly three heroes in here, it will probably be winnable. We won't have to give them any extra gear or potions. Just the sheer fact that there's more bodies in there will mean that they can uh, they can uh, smash through the defenses. So Strange Bus is coming back, and if we get PSK or his uh, and or his friends, whoever they may be, um, we could have a, a nice uh, nice another round. So I think what okay. I'm gonna do is, yeah, okay, I have, back. I have arrived. Sorry, yeah, I uh, awesome. got caught up in having to take out the trash as well. So I am back. I have arrived. Nice. Well, uh, PSK is uh, going to be coming as well, so I guess we could just kind of see what what's happening. Oh, I have a great I have a great idea. This is sure. going to be awesome. Okay, so I mean the rules state that you're supposed to only use the barbarian. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we we can bring in some other heroes to help them out. But what we're going to do is uh, I will just be right back. I just need to raid my miniature cabinet over here. One oh, we got two. We got two people coming. Yeah. Cool. This is definitely going to make it interesting. All right, strange bus. Can you hear me? 
I can. Excellent. Okay. We've got PSK and Jay. They said they're up for a round after the store. Nice. We've got both chats open, and I found a way to just view your Discord while keeping Twitch recorded on my stream, so I can catch you a lot faster without the five-second delay. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right. Well, this is turning into uh, quite an unpredictable and exciting streaming night, I will say for sure. Yeah, quite the turnout. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, we haven't really gotten any new people since we started our last round, but yeah, if we get a couple more players, I mean, Hey, this could turn into a regular thing, right? You know, Hey, um, you could probably do like a, like a, a game night. Yeah. Yeah. Cause this, this is what we used to do is it used to be, uh, my brother has some, uh, people in the neighborhood and they would get together, play games and it's like, okay, the first hour, everybody's just chatting away. And it's like, okay, fine, let's play a game. And then there's like another half hour to say, what game should we play? <laughs> but then once we get going, it's like, okay, four hours later, we're just like, uh, whose turn is it? I don't even know. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> but but the way I did the streams, it was going to be like Friday. It was going to be just like the news and just me ranting about whatever. And then Saturday was going to be we actually play live. And originally, I thought we were going to do Zoom, and we were going to play it like that, and then not be really be live. It was going to be recorded, and then we were going to stream it, and then just chat about it. Like, oh, man, I can't believe I did that stupid thing. But hey, this this is even better. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'd be exciting. excited. It looks like uh, PSK's pretty hype about it. Yeah, he's, he's got all kinds of hype uh, coming out of, out of his channel. Now, I, the the coolest thing to do, I think, would be actually go over to somebody's house with the game. We'd all be oh, playing. Man. We'd have the camera set up, and so, like that. And then you could have a virtual player, like a guest could join and just be like, okay, their spot at the table is just the microphone, and they're just talking. And also, yeah. Keep in mind that um, I know it's probably not the best thing, but if we if we were to learn it, because I brought this up last time when we were talking about it this morning. Mm -hmm. um tabletop sim has this yes yes because then all people would have to do is what spend the 20 bucks if it's on sale from steam and then yeah it's not super uh it's not super like um expensive yeah because uh, it's true one person could stream it but it's like if one person's going to stream it for everybody else it's the same as this it's just that anybody could host it so it wouldn't have to be me. It could be you. It could be somebody else. They don't want to buy the full game because HeroQuest is, costs more than $20. <laughs> but yeah, Tabletop Simulator is only 20 If you can get it working, which maybe it's just me. If, maybe my system is just, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. If I, gonna... if I could learn, I could get people in seating and then get, um, mm -hmm. because you can assign people seats on that game board. That way they're not looking at the, the DM oh. or the game master. Well see there's so, another there's another hero quest. I don't know if it's Discord. me. Um but yeah. I'm also losing connection to the stream from Twitch. Uh oh. It could just be me. I can restart it. If that would make any difference. I mean I've kind of been doing that anyway every time we start a new session. I'm just gonna stop the stream and I'm gonna restart it. Oh, okay. Alright. See how it goes. But yeah, the tabletop simulator thing is definitely an idea. 